In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to convert a colour image into a black and white one. Now one of the things with Blender is that there's a huge amount of things you can do with it but it's um, not as easy to use as one of these happy slappy Apple apps so you need to sort of get used to the layouts and different settings. Um, now there's quite a few things you can do in the video editor to an image and save it as an image so to the top of the screen left the default look for the little button it says choose screen layout and left click on this and left click on the video editor look for the graph edit uh, button and left click on this and then left click on properties okay now you're not going to be making a video so don't worry about that you're actually going to save um, change an image and save it back as an image um, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to come down to the bottom of the screen and left click on the word add and I'm going to left click on image now navigate to where the image is that you're going to use and if you want to see thumbnails of your image to the left of normal just left click on this little thumbnails button okay I'm going to use this image here so I'll left click on this one and then to the top of the screen left click add image strip and the first thing you'll notice is that the image is squashed to conform with a sort of widescreen video 1920 by 1080 over here so you need to find out your image size so I'm just going to drag this panel over a bit and bring this down and you'll see something that says original dimension so mine's 3888 by 2592 so in the box it says X underneath resolution I'm going to just left click and type in 3 treble 8 and hit return and then I've got 2592 so in the box it says Y I'll type in 2592 and again hit return now I can roll my middle mouse to zoom in and out with my pointer in this view panel ok so I'm going to convert this to black and white now back to the bottom of the screen, left click on add and next to effect strip and left click on adjustment layer if you drag this slider down you will eventually get to a pl place that says saturation so what I'm going to do is put my pointer in this saturation box hold my left mouse button down and drag it down to zero and I've now got a black and white image. Incidentally you can do this with videos as well once you know what you're doing in the using this video editor. And that's it really. So we'll save this as an image not a video. So I'm going to just first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually increase this percentage here underneath the XY um, resolution. So I'm going to just drag this up to a hundred. Roll my mouse to zoom out again and then I'm going to bring this slider down and forget about saving it because you do this afterwards so I'm going to just left click on PNG then left click on JPEG I'll take this quality up to 100% and then slide this slider up now whatever you do don't press animation because you'll end up with um, something like 25 images in black and white so what you need to do is make sure you press render and this will just give you one image so left click on render and you'll end up with a black and white image finally don't forget to left click on image down here because this is where you're going to save it so left click on image and left click save as image you can also press F3 if you want and I'm going to just dump this on my desktop so I'll just left click on desktop and give it a title here 
I don't know, I'm just going to call it B and W, that'll do. And then left click save as image, you may have to left click twice on this. And you should end up with a bit of luck with a black and white image. That hasn't lost any of its quality. Okay, hopefully that's helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.